you're training down there in Miami now, right? Yeah, I'm training at the Goat Shed in Miami. Yeah, so I want to ask you a little bit about that. So you were training, um, now from day one when you came into the sport, when you got introduced to it, you were training right away with Dean Thomas, correct? Yeah, and I still am. He uh, he still trains with me at the Goat Shed. So we've been together for the last 12 years. Okay, okay. And that's just an, <laughs> that's just like uncommon, it, I, you know, from what I've seen where it's just you come in, somebody get introduced to the sport and right away they're introduced to somebody, you know, who's at the highest level, who can just start teaching them correctly from day one versus you know, picking up some bad habits along the way, switching some trainers, find what works. That ended up working out really cool. But what I want to ask about is what, uh, what made you, what made you settle down at this gym? Um, so for a while there, uh, uh, well, obviously I've been with Dean since day one, we went to ATT for a little while. And then, uh, during COVID we kind of broke off from ATT and we're doing our own thing and kind of just traveling to different gyms. So I was working with Dean primarily and traveling to gyms all up and down Florida, just getting to work like with different people. And um, I just needed a place where it's more consistent that I could get different bodies to work with. And I felt like Goat Shed was the, the best place, the best fit for me. They have a bunch of 125 boys that are ideal work for me. We have a bunch of girls now. And um, like I said, obviously Dean still works with me to this day. Yeah. So the mix of Dean and Goat Shed just seems like uh, kind of the championship make. Nice. Nice. Now I'm not familiar with Goat Shed. I got to be honest with you. And that's actually what I was going to ask. Cause when I, when I see a gym like ATT, it's like, I don't know. It's world renowned, right? It's one of the biggest ones that people talk about. It's, it's a physically, it's like a massive facility. I got to imagine that you've got a whole bunch of training partners in there, whatever you want. You've got a whole uh, plethora of coaches. I know you work with Dean, but um, what's it like? How big is Goat Shed? Uh, Goat Shed's definitely a smaller gym. We all, uh, probably have a pro team of, I'd say like 30 to 50 fighters, tops maybe. That's where still, 80. It still yeah. seems big to me. But <laughs> I, I feel, but it's like, honestly, we're a fight gym. Like it's all fighters. Every every person in the gym is a fighter. Um, ATT, I want to say their pro team has to be 100 plus maybe. Like ATT is absolutely yeah. huge. And I feel like I that's, that's the- That's insane. Yeah, it's like that's where that's where I feel like you run into issues though, because you can kind of get lost in that where there's too many people there and there's too many bodies for too many uh, for too few coaches to look after, you know? Right. That was kind of going to be, and that was kind of going to be what I was thinking. Like, how does it work? Like, so when you go in there, is it just like you're kind of doing your own thing? Do you just? I imagine different coaches specialize with different stuff. So is it like you search, search out one or uh, search out one of them, like hold the pads for you on something you want to work with? You have. One person, who, since you work with Dean, is he kind of game planning the whole thing from the top down and, and setting you up? Or For me specifically, it's always been Dean. Like, he's been my, the, I guess, like the main, like, brain behind my, uh, everything that I do since the beginning. So, so like, uh, even when you, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, Dean, uh, yeah, Dean's just been the 100% mastermind behind everything. That, uh, everything of my style. So when you were in ATT, did you ever, like, work with any other coaches at all? Or it was just him? Uh, yes and no. I, I would, uh, like, work with coaches occasionally. But primarily, it was more just training partners than I would. Like, Dean was the one who I was getting my main technical advice from always. And he was the one game planning for me going into fights and really uh, the one looking out for me. Nice. Yeah, so in that sense, that's kind of the state. He's the stabilizing force even going from bouncing around gym to gym. And now you're getting out of this one. It's, it's still the same voice in your It's still the same guy and stuff. So... I imagine that works out great. Um, but you said you've got enough sparring partners there and everything. So it's like my thought going in would be that would be one of your potential negative drawbacks to having a smaller gym is that you're just going to have less people to work with. So you're going to have less looks and things like that. But if you got that, then it, it's, it's got to still be great. Oh, yeah. I feel like I, I have all the looks I need. I have a lot of attention from my coaches now. And um, I have everything that I need to really make that title run.